While activists, they are now urging people to eat and shop at black owned restaurants and businesses. And the movement is trending all across social media. Monica Garcia spoke to one business owner who says she knows what it's like to be discriminated against. Many would say minority business owners are the backbone of our community. A great example is this place. It's alterations and creations. They stayed open during COVID to make masks for health care workers. Now they could use your help. For more than 20 years, Tina Marie, or as she's known here on Roosevelt Row, Miss Tina, has been a pillar for the community. This neighborhood is very, very close. But every once in a while, she says she's reminded of the systemic racism that continues to exist. Like when people are surprised to learn she runs a business. And they looked at me and they looked at her and I said, are you the owner or is the owner here? And she said, no, she's the owner. But through the fabrics she sells and the clothes she designs here, she tries to enlighten people to view the world beyond black and white. We have white, black, red, and yellow. They are together. They're, they're beautiful and, you know, ever-changing. If everything was all one color, if everything's just all one way, where is the happy at? This message, along with her master tailoring skills, bringing customers from all parts of the valley, like Valor Carlson, who drove 40 minutes just to see her. My goal is to make sure that the people that I support are being supported. He's not alone. There you go. Thank you. We'll see you. I've been a loyal customer for a while, so I feel like uh, definitely this is the time to support. Miss Tina is once again relying on her creativity to keep her business going in the aftermath of COVID by selling masks and offering virtual sewing lessons. In the meantime, Miss Tina says she's going to keep doing what she needs to do to give back to her community. On Roosevelt Row, I'm Monica Garcia with Arizona's Family.